our tutorial for Here Is Our King by David Crowder Band. Um, I'm kind of covering the album version from A Collision and also this live version that my church does. Uh, they, David Crowder Band modifies the way they play this a little bit between the album and the live one, but I'll, I'll cover bits of both. Um, the beginning of it is just chords, it's just a walk up. Um, I'm capoed three because the song is in B flat. And it starts just like this. So it's just, you know, chord shapes relative to the capo. It's just G, G over B, and then kind of a C sus. So that's the beginning, and that's also what the rhythm guitar is doing during the chorus. It's always just... And then the next part you hit is the verse, which is just two on your A string, up to three on your A string, and then you're using these two strings open, so it's just a little... That's the whole verse, and then the pre-chorus is just two chords, it's D and then C, but you want to make the C chord shape that has uh, three on your high E string, so like one of these, because you want that note in there. So I do the D as the same chord shape up two frets and then just move between them, so the pre-chorus would be like this. chorus, which again, the rhythm guitar is just those chords. And then there is a lead guitar here, and it's incredibly difficult to pick out on the recording, but here's what it's doing, because it's a lot more fun to have this in there. Um, you're using the open G string as a drone in this chord, and then have a 3 on the B string and a 5 on the D string, so one of these that come up a lot in church songs. It's one of my favorite chord shapes. Um, and then the only fret that's moving for most of this is the G string. You're going back and forth between zero, four, two, and such. So here's the whole chorus lead. <laughs> that's going underneath all the choruses. It's this shape, and then you're adding the third back in on here, and then go to two, and then at the end you're just doing got that dissonant note in there, so it's uh, relative to the capo, five, five, and zero. And then the very last time, you go up to here. So here's that chorus again. And then you'd go back through the verse. Um, here's where I'm going to hop over to the live version, because on the album they just do the second verse, same as the first one, it's just... But on the live version that we do, um, there's a lead over that second verse, and it's kind of cool, so I'll cover it. It's, uh, let's see... Like a minor chord up here that you slide into. So that's just a cool thing that a second guitar can be doing during that second verse. Uh, Pre-chorus, just those two chords again. Then 
chorus is that thing. All right, so this bridge, um, the rhythm guitar and the bass are just doing a walk up from, in this case, E minor up through the scale. So it's kind of. And then what I mainly hear the lead guitar doing is there's these two notes that it puts between each of those. So it would go. It's just these two notes and you could either do the chord low and hop up there like I just did or else you could pick chord shapes that are an octave higher so that you're in kind of the same general part of the guitar and do like Very last time, it keeps ascending, it goes through all of that, and then it goes to... So that's that sort of last, finally, here is what the vocals are doing there. And then it's just chorus, and then kind of a bridge and out. So those are the major pieces. It's a pretty simple song. Hopefully that makes it a little bit more fun on guitar. And that's that song.